And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary, and my CVs are lagging. What is going on here? Uh, there we go, picking up the pace. Um, I am the Blue Terran in the Northwest, up against El Herald. El Herald? The Herald. Uh, the Red uh, Zerg in the South. East. He wants to have a little bit of a conversation. I don't mind uh, that if I can keep up my macro. Looks like I am able to keep it up. Um, you know, he wants to know what I am. I uh, was bronze uh, 16th. Uh, he was ranked 12th. I believe I am still ranked 16th. Uh, but good news, I was able to get back up to uh, even in my record. I am 24 and 24 now. Uh, on a side note, the uh, a new patch went out today. Uh, there wasn't that much information on it. Um, I actually didn't even know it was in development. Uh, all it pretty much said was that Thors are now going to um, target ground units instead of medevacs. So their priority is set to ground units instead of the medevacs. Of course, if there's an attack air unit, I still assume they're going to be um, attacking those first. But just a small little change uh, to the Thor's AI. I uh, don't see that having that big of an impact in the games overall. And once again, I'm not scouting. Didn't see that drone in, hiding in the corner, but of course it moved. So now I do see it. And he's going to be stealing my gas. That's my gas. What are you doing? See, now, this is something that a lot of Zerg players do. They will steal your gas. If they want to do it very effectively, they will never let that finish. I almost thought about telling him that. Dude, you're not supposed to let it finish. And here's the reason why. This Marine can now take it out right shouldn't be a problem for him just a matter of time with that one marine plus i wasn't going to be going for that second gas that soon anyways but if you take that drone off and constantly build it over and over and once it's about done you cancel it and build it again then this marine cannot out dps the the health that's being gained while it's being built i mean look at that he cannot catch up with how fast that's being built so it would i would need to send more than one marine to take out this gas if you kept on building it if i was trying to destroy it while it was being built if that makes sense we are both going for an expansion pretty early on um actually this is pretty late for him because he wants to always have more bases than, than I do. A Zerg player will always want to have the most bases out of anybody on the map. And of course, now that we're almost even, um, just finishing there for his hatchery and mine is almost done, he, but I of course took a huge lead in the harvester count. Wow, look at that. Poor saturation. Looks like nine, because I missed one there. Nine on the minerals, and then he transfers some of them. There's no reason for him to transfer. They're not going to get these minerals any faster than they were getting these. Um, huge, uh, <laughs> huge blunder in, in the harvester count here, and he's going for a lair at his expansion, keeping the hatchery at his main, so hiding the tech. That's pretty good on this map, because, of course, this... Uh, this expansion is pretty secure except for those rocks there. You will need to keep an eye on those. I don't believe either one of us did that though. My expansion is up and that's why I have a huge lead in the mineral count plus because of all those harvesters. And here I see this army and he almost runs away with it because of course you can't see behind the grass but once he sees that he's being attacked he goes in and here Look at that, stimming up, taking out those Marauders, of course that their increased range will be enough to do damage to all these guys, but not enough to win the game for him. So four Roaches it looks like, running back home because they're scared of my Marauders. Haha. -ha. 
But of course, I still have one Marine on the Zelnaga Tower here. He's a hero Marine with zero kills. He has earned the rank of hero. That's what it says right there. It doesn't say recruit. It says hero. But looking back at his main base, let's look at the production tab. Oh my gosh, look at all I'm producing. Uh, I already got an uh, upgrade on the... Weapons one, I'm getting armor one, almost finished now, getting marines, getting marauders, getting siege tanks, getting missile turrets, getting supply depots, getting another barracks. Meanwhile, he is getting a spire. Where is that spire? Little itty bitty spire. There it is. It's such a small little thing there. And here, I can see those. Hey, he's got roaches on the way. Where are my siege tanks? Hey, you guys. Go. And here he's running back. So I don't know why he sent those guys out uh, just to be seen by my watchtower, uh, only to run back. Maybe he's going to be waiting for mutas because there we go. Spire just went up. Mutas on the way. Eight mutas. Good lord, that has a lot of mutas. Nine mutas at once. Stim going down. Siege tanks <laughs> in the back, able to clean this up very easily into the main base right as those mews come up and they are easily taken out thanks to these 1-1 one -one marines stimmed up and so that is the game really the the play that won it for me was this marine right here able to spot these roaches that and then once I saw them run back I decided hey you know what Let's attack. That's pretty much all he had. Uh, and I was right. It was all he had. And if I had waited longer, waited for those mutas to come out, the game would have been much different. He probably would have gone in and done some harassment here on the SCVs, probably attacking the Orbital Command because I don't have any uh, missile turrets out front. Oh, by the way, I'm going for a third base here. So, poor saturation, really. Uh, he's still only got 25 drones. Uh, look at that. that. One of those is getting gas, so 9 here and 10 there. That is not enough. This is too many. Come on. Huh? Let me select. T too many. Not enough. So neither one of us doing any good here, but I did have quite a lead in terms of the income, and look at that, um, it was able I was able to to keep producing most of that until the very end. Uh, he was unable to keep up those mutas, and the Zelnaga Tower won this for me. Never underestimate the power of scouting and sight in this game. It is a resource. It's hard to imagine that as a resource, but it is, and it can win games for you, as it did for me right here. So I hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. I'll see you then. Bye.